Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna do an everyday look. This one was requested by my Hawaiian mommy. So shout out to my Hawaiian mommy. Y'all don't need to know who that is, that's my girl. But anyway, so, everyday looks should be simple, they should be easy, they should be quick. Those are the three things that they should always be. Especially if like you're rushing out the door to go to work, you know, things like that. So I'm gonna give you a quick little routine that you can use to make your life so much better. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with primer. Make sure you wash your face, of course, wash your face, moisturize, because believe it or not, moisturizer actually can solve like 90% of your problems with your skin. So, primer. And as usual, I'm using my favorite baby, the Optical Illusion by Urban Decay. It is the best, I love it. So I'm just gonna apply it just like a moisturizer. And what's good about this one too, is that it has vitamin E in it, rose hip oil and argan oil, all of which have vitamins and nutrients that are awesome for your skin. So while it is also priming your skin, it is also feeding it good nutrients and oils to keep it nice and moisturized and causing as little damage as possible. So we love that. All right, face is primed, super easy. So usually what I do if I'm like going quick, I will use a BB cream. So I like the one by Maybelline, Dream BB Pure. It's an eight in one beauty balm skin perfecter. So it has like concealer in it, it has minerals in it, it moisturizes your skin. It has like a dewy look, it minimizes your pores. Um, it's lightweight, which I love. We all know how much I love lightweight. And it has salicylic acid in it. So if you have acne prone skin like I do, this is perfect, it is not gonna clog your pores. So. I use the medium sheer, so it, it's like medium coverage. It's not exactly like gonna cover all of your blemishes, but it's gonna do enough that your skin is gonna look toned and even and pretty. So I'm gonna be lazy. When I'm going quick, all I do is put it on my hands like this and I apply it like a moisturizer, truly. So I'll just kind of do like a light coat of it all over my face. And it's gonna look a little splotchy. So I will usually go back over it with a brush just to kind of like even everything out. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of like, it's not completely covering and concealing like all my blemishes, but it has like toned my skin and made it look presentable, let's say. And I have like, under eye bags really bad today because my cats woke me up way too early. So here I am looking like a mess. All right. So I'm gonna put a little bit on my Ulta foundation brush. Just a little, not a whole lot. I totally just dropped that on my pants. Whatever, okay. So then I'm just gonna dab it on there make everything look even and my mirror is like over here so if I look like I'm not looking at you that's why I'll move it so it looks a little more like I'm pretending like I like you I might not so but that's okay yeah nice and even mm -hmm. make sure that there's not like weird like brush strokes or anything on there. Even it out, get your chin a little bit, so quick and easy. Um, so yeah, for like an everyday look like this, I totally recommend a BB cream just because it's gonna be lightweight, it's gonna do what you want it to do in a shorter period of time. You don't gotta sit there and apply your foundation for 50 years like I do. But yeah. Boom. Nice and even. So I am gonna use a little bit of concealer too. Um, I don't know if I discussed this one or used it with you guys in the last video, but I love Tarte's Shape Tape. I have it in here somewhere, here it is. 
I do love this one, but I was watching a Jaclyn Hill video and she was using Morph. And when she used it, I was like, oh shit, I need to try that. So I did and I love it. Um, so it's kind of been like my go-to lately, but I'm just gonna put it over my under eye circles on my cheeks a little just to get rid of that tired look that everybody has when they're too lazy to do their makeup and they just wanna do it really quick and easy and get it done. So you're just gonna kinda of like paint it on. Brighten up the areas of your face that you want to be brightened. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna dab it on there. And what I like about this one is that it really does like give your face like a glow which I'm all about. And especially if you're like rushing and like this is like your quick everyday go-to look, having that like element of brightness is really going to make your day. And it's quick and it's easy, which is what we're going for. And just make sure it's blended nice and nice. That's so Italian of me. We say nice and nice, which makes no sense, but it's what we do. So yeah, now you have it brightened. So I also bought the Bacon Set Setting Powder. I have been using this one, uh, L'Oreal's Infallible. I do love this powder. It is much cheaper than Morph's, so if you're on a budget, go for that one. But this is Morph's. It's translucent, Bacon Set. I love it. Once again, it was Jaclyn Hill who turned me on to this, so... I'm just gonna open it up, get a little bit on your sponge. I totally hope you can see this because I'm like, I don't even know what the camera angle is right now. But you're just gonna put it under your eyes over that concealer that you just laid because you want to bake it and set it. It's like your easy bake oven. And so you're gonna, it's gonna look a little crazy. Like it's gonna look really light for a second, but you wanna set your concealer, trust me. All right, and so that's also gonna give you a brightening effect, which is always good. And then I'm gonna do it right here to meet up with my mouth. And that's just kind of like a simple like contouring trick because what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your bronzer over top and so it's gonna give it a little illusion of you being chiseled. But so then you're just gonna kinda of like blend it in there. And I really like how bright this one makes like your face look, it just like, you know. So just blend that in. And you can see that my, I don't know if you could see it super well, but what I like about this is that it like really smooths your pores out. So that's like one thing that a lot of women have trouble with is enlarged pores. I struggle with it, um, but I've been using this stuff recently. I got in my Ipsy bag because that's what I get everything in. And it's called, I showed it in my last video, so go check that one out. But it's called Philorga Laboratories and it's called Optum Eyes. So clever, it's eye cream. So what it does is it plumps, lightens, takes away the puffiness of like when you wake up in the morning and you ate pizza for dinner and like all the sodium is like in your face and your fingers and you can't get your rings off. Um, it'll help with that. And it doesn't say on the bottle that it does this, but I have noticed that my, cause I apply it like this basically and my pores on my cheeks have shrunk, which I am so pumped about. Like it just looks so nice. But it's good for wrinkles too, so if you're a little bit older, it'll take care of crow's feet. It just like, it's called Botox in a bottle. That's what the reviews on Google said, and I was like, you don't gotta tell me twice. Botox for way cheaper than Botox actually is. But I'm just combing my eyebrows because they're out of damn control. All right, so here we are. It looks great so far. So I'm gonna get my bronzer totally rubbed off it is Rimmel London um I just I'm cheap but I take my big Farrah brush and I'm just gonna quick 
quick and easy, buff it on there, right above where we did that baking powder. And you can kind of see like where the line is, um, but it gives a good contour. My hair is just like all over the damn place too, you guys. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm really not. But you're gonna apply your bronzer in the shape of like a three. That's what I'm doing now. So three. I'm gonna do it on your chin, make everything even. You don't wanna look crazy. But yeah. Just buff it out. So this is just gonna give a little bit of color to your cheeks real quick like and then I have this new blush basic beauty it is from the ipsy bag huh <laughs> shocker um I really like it because I've had a hard time finding a blush that's like matte and is not sparkly I'm just like not a fan of sparkly blush because I feel like it kind of like retracts from your highlighter um so I like this one it's a good one I'm just going to use this brush by Firma Beauty. It's number 102. Awesome. It's little. It's really good for applying blush to your cheeks. I'm just going to get a little bit of blush on there. Not too much because you don't want to look crazy. But just sweep it across the cheeks. Give your cheeks a little bit of color. Not too much. You don't want to look like a clown. Even though Halloween's coming, so maybe you do want to look like a clown. I don't know. I am a clown, so whatever. And there, now you just have a little bit of color in your cheeks. <sighs> okay. So. Now what I'm going to do is get to the eyes, my favorite. So, always priming with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Love this. Do not freaking leave the house without it. Or else. Just apply it on there. It has this cute little brush that is almost like a lip gloss brush. And it goes on so nice and easy. So I just smear it on there. Put it on your lid. And what this is going to do is it's going to keep your eyeshadow from creasing, which is like the dream. Because if you're like me and you have like kind of hooded eyes, that shit will crease up within like an hour of you putting your makeup on. I'm just going to use my finger to kind of rub it in, set it on there, and then you're good. So, for my everyday look, what my go-tos are, are neutrals galore. And if you've watched my other videos, you know neutrals are my shit. So, I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Okay. So a couple of these are new. This is new. I've never used uh, Revolution Cosmetics before, but they have this really nice neutral um, foil palette. So I'm kind of pumped about that. Might dip into those today. Um, Ipsy's bag also did a Betty Boop theme. So I picked up the palette as an add-on. There's a couple good neutrals in there too. I mean, some of the like purples, obviously, like you wouldn't wear purple if you're going for like a neutral everyday thing. Um, I also have ColourPop's Mar palette. Some good neutrals in there. And of course, my Naked Honey and my Naked Reloaded. Naked Reloaded, this is the palette for an everyday look. This has every neutral color you could ever want in it. So I'm probably, that's probably gonna be my number one um, usage today. But I also have like this cute little uh, Wanderous Seascape by Wander Beauty. There's like some pretty sparkly stuff in there. Um, I really like this one. I don't know if you can see how like sparkly it is, but it's very pigmented. It's a good base. So that one I also got in an Ipsy bag. But what I'm going to do is, and so this just varies based on your skin tone. I'm white as hell. So I'm going to use probably one of these neutrals up here as like a base. I always put a base on. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. It's just a thing that I do. It makes me feel like I've gotten started. But what I'm going to use is this blur down here in the Naked Reloaded palette. And that one just kind of matches my skin tone. So it like essentially what I'm doing is like I'm evening out my eyelid. I'm like toning it. It's almost like foundation for your eyelid. That's what I call it. But 
it has like the same effect it just kind of tones everything it makes everything look cohesive and so i just brush it across um next i will take my blender and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get like a lighter color um, i'm gonna use this butt right here and i'm just gonna sweep it um on my brow bone here and just blend it up real good and this is just gonna kind of give like a nice um, shadowy effect without overdoing it so like you're going to work you don't want to like have a, like a crazy um, everyday look going on so that's why I recommend neutrals for this, and that's why I use neutrals. But, I mean, this is like a good look too for like going to the mall with your friend or, you know, going grocery shopping if you put on makeup before you grocery shop, because I don't do that, but some people do. I'm just lazy. I'm lucky if I wear makeup like three times a week. And so, I just have that going on there. Um, so I'm gonna take my big blender here and just kind of like blend everything as the name suggests. But it's just gonna soften up like any weird like edges that I got going on. And I'm also gonna kind of like sweep it out into like, like a corner shape here, um, just to go with the shape of, the natural shape of my eyes. Um, and give it kind of just like a, Now we're back. Okay, so just gonna give like, add to the shape of your eye really like, um, it depends on what your eye shape is really. That's another thing too. Like I feel like, you know, people watch all these makeup videos and they're like, oh my God, like I'm not that good. And it's like, no, your eyes are just shaped differently and your skin is a different color. And so it's not necessarily all about skill all the time. Um, a lot of it is just like figuring out your eye shape and your skin type and everything and what works best for you and running with it. So I love neutrals because I have blue eyes and neutrals bring them out. So we have this going on. It's not too much, but it gives like a, like you're wearing makeup, like people see that you're wearing makeup, but, but they're not going to be like, oh my God, like we're at this conference and like she looks like a whore. But if you want to look like a whore, fucking go for it because I like a good look like that too. Shit. Um, so now that I'm done uh, slandering myself, I have a couple. Okay, so like this is my shit right here. Absolutely love this color, Dreamweaver. Um, I have this other palette. It's like a lesser known cosmetic brand. Um, it's called Shani, Shani, I don't fucking know how to pronounce it, but it has this beautiful like champagne undertone brown in it. And I have used it to the point that like you can see underneath it. Like I haven't touched it because I'm like, oh, but I want to save it. But this is the closest thing to it that I've ever found. And so obviously I'm in love with it. Um, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use a little short shader, if I can freaking find it over here. Like, you should see this freaking chair of mine. Table of mine? Whatever. Okay, so I'm going to use it. And I'm just going to honestly, like, sweep it in the middle here. Um, the reason for that is I'm going to want to put, like, something slightly darker in the outer corner to... Um, just blend everything inwards. Um, but this brush kind of allows you to be precise, not go crazy with it, but it's this nice, beautiful, like sparkly brown color. And I just adore it. Do the same thing on the other side. And just roll with it. You know, you can put as little or as much on as you want. Like I said, 
I like to go light with my everyday look. And I'm gonna use my blender now and just make sure that the colors are one with each other. Okay, so now, like I said, I'm gonna do something a little bit darker. Um, so I just like to fade inwards with my looks usually, um, especially when I'm doing a good neutral. I love a good neutral. Um, but so I'm gonna get this little flat guy here and I'm gonna use end game, shout out to the Avengers. So I'm just gonna get a little bit like on the tip here. You don't wanna overdo it because it is a dark color. Um, you're just gonna go and kind of just follow like your outer corner of your eye here. Um, and the reason for that is just, it adds to the shape and it gives like a nice little illusion later when you put your mascara on that you have these crazy awesome eyelashes. So I'm just gonna do the same thing here. Follow your eyelid. And sweep it on there nice and nice voila so again this is your blood bet your blessed friend your blender is your best friend there we go y'all probably are like bitch why don't you edit your videos i'm like you know what i just say dumb shit and i roll with it and i'm too lazy so you're welcome for the show there you go Blend it in, make it look all nice. And so, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit more of it just because I wanna even out both eyes. And this is actually like a kind of smoky look, which I'm all about. Love some good smoky looks. Okay, blending again. And use this cute little smoky brown look thing going on. I actually am in love with this. Okay, so I'm gonna say goodbye to my cute little naked palette for right now, but I really wanna play with these foils here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, number 11, according to the back. It doesn't even have a cool name. All right, well, I'm going to name it that sparkly ass shit, and I'm going to take my little dome brush that is currently stained yellow. Wash your brushes! I don't as often as I should. And I'm like out here giving you makeup advice and you're listening to me, ew. Okay, this is like a strange formula. Like I said, I've never used this brand before, so we're just gonna roll with it. Um, but I'm just gonna, oh my, hell yeah. I am all about this fucking shit. Holy, oh my gosh. Okay, y'all, you are watching a first time reaction to a cosmetic brand I've never, this is awesome, okay. Sorry, I'm gonna stop reading. Dude, seriously, holy shit. I'm, oh my goodness. Okay, so you're gonna put it on the inner corners here and sweep it out towards your darker areas on your eyelid. Y'all, this stuff would be so good for a cut crease. Like, this is awesome. It really would be. Like, it is just going on so nice. And it's like a strange formula, but it like, I just don't even know how to explain it. I love it. Revolution Cosmetics, the foils palette. All right. Wow. Okay. Blender. I'm gonna sweep this way. Um, just because sometimes when you do like a lighter color on the inner corner, like it goes over the darker foundation that you've already laid down and you obviously did that for a reason so like you don't want to take away from that um but there you go this is my look so far um i've used my naked reloaded and the super awesome revolution palette that i'm really pumped about and i'm probably going to use 
way more. Probably play with some cut crease looks, see how that goes. All right, so underneath the eye, you're just gonna kind of like continue with what you're already working with. So I have this little flat guy, this little tapered brush, and I'm going to take my Naked Reloader palette, welcome back. And I'm gonna get a little bit of end game again, just either side of that, tap it off, and then I'm just gonna go underneath just a little bit, not too far inwards, um, just to accent the under eye and kind of pull the top lid and bottom lid together into a freaking piece of art, like just look. All right, then I'm gonna take it again after I clean it off a little bit. And I'm going to take the one that we used up here. So Bucked is what it's called. I don't even know if I told you the name of it earlier. But I'm going to go here and blend outwards. Um, just so that it's not too dark. Where the end game is laying down out here. But there you go. And then, huh, you guessed it. Just blend under the eye just make everything come together like just look at that oh gorgeous okay so now we have that going on um what i like to do is for an everyday look i'm not going to sit here and like do a whole wing right so um i bought the urban decay 24 7 glide on pencil i love this like the reaction i had to this revolution palette you just saw that was my reaction to this the first time I used it. It goes on so smoothly. It really, it's expensive, but it is worth it. Amazing. Like, just look at this bad boy. I love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and just apply it straight on the top lid. And I cannot freaking see. So hopefully you can see what the hell I'm doing. But I kind of like, when I apply this, I don't really care about precision so much because what I'm going to do is later I'm going to take my angled brush and smooth everything out. So, it kind of looks weird and chunky right now, but like I said, take an angled brush like this and then I just go back over it and I just kind of like swipe kind of go out a little bit like almost like you're doing a wing but not really but I'm just kind of smudging it and smoothing out the edges and making it look uh more what's the word I'm looking for cohesive and smooths out and just normal I don't know less weird looking But I just pull my eyelid straight like this because it makes everything so much easier. Um, but yeah, just really simple. Like you don't need to go like all out if this is an everyday look. Um, easy peasy, right? You want it to be quick, you want it to be easy, but you want it to look cute. So here I am. All right. It has turned out really smoky and I'm super pumped about it. I just want you guys to know that I totally wing everything that I do. But this is an everyday look that I would do. So, now that we have this going on, obviously next will be our mascara. And I love my Too Faced better than sex. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe that on. And like I've said in previous videos, you don't wanna... Ugh, you see, I got it up here. With mascara, like, you don't want to overdo it because a lot of women make the mistake of, like, going over it and going back over it and going back, like, after it's dried. And then you end up getting this, like, clumpy, crispy, like, terrible. You want your eyelashes to look natural. Like this, you know? You're really just using mascara to accentuate what you already have. And I think a lot of women have this like illusion that mascara lengthens your eyelashes and it really doesn't. It is working with what you already have. And if you have eyelashes like mine, they are dark at the root and blonde at the tip. So essentially what this mascara does is it colors that blonde tip and gives 
the illusion that your eyelashes have been elongated, but realistically what it's doing is giving you volume and working with what you already have. Because when you do swipe it on there, it's, you know, obviously you're putting um, the formula onto the eyelash and so it's making the eyelashes look thicker, um, which is awesome. And there's actually been literally like several studies done where mascara is actually the most transforming makeup product for your face. It makes you look more different than any other makeup product that's out there. So really for an everyday look, you could just swipe on some mascara, rub on some BB cream and peace the hell out. But this is what I'm working with today. So oh, last but not least, I'm going to take this little highlighter that I have. My Becca Hill. I love this highlighter. Champagne pop. Absolutely stunning. And I'm going to take my fan brush, swipe it in there, and highlight my cheekbones here. And fan brush kind of makes application of a highlighter a little bit easier. Um, it's kind of hard to find a good brush for a highlighter, but I always, I do the tip of my nose. Cupe as well, a little bit of the chin, a little bit of the forehead, and then I'll take my finger and just do it right under the brow bone. And you know, I my eyebrows, I've talked about them before because they're freaking insane, but they're so like already thick and already intense that realistically for an everyday look, I don't do them. I just comb through them with an angled brush and just kind of make sure that everybody's facing the right way. Um, but if you don't have thick eyebrows, um, you can take eyeshadow. That's what my sister uses and you can use that to fill them in. Um, you can use whatever brow brand that you like and that works for you. But I just don't do mine. So that's why I'm not doing them. But here we are. I hope that you like this look. It's simple, it's easy, it's everyday. For an everyday look, you just wanna keep it simple. You wanna keep it neutral. Um, and then depending on what your skin tone is, like I said, um, you can use darker colors, you can use lighter colors, whatever works for you. I love this. It has like rusty undertones, it's brown, it brings out my eyes, and I can be done with my makeup in 15 minutes and be ready to go out, so. I hope that you enjoy this look. I personally am totally feeling it, so. But yeah, so hit like, hit subscribe. I hope you like me, just kidding, I don't give a shit. Um, but yeah. I love you guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next Friday.